Welcome to The Stone Report, a time of ministry, news, updates, and exciting information just for you. Now here is Perry Stone. Well, we are a little late doing our Stone Report this month because we're waiting, waiting for our new book to get in. But let me tell you, this has been an incredible several weeks. Warrior Fest number one, 5,700 kids in the building, over 500 saved, baptized in the Holy Spirit. At the time of my taping, Warrior Fest number two is coming up. But I can't tell you how thrilled I am to see the youth pastors involved, the young people involved, and really see Joel 2 begin to come to pass in my own eyes with our staff and people. It's just a joy. Let me just also mention to you in the Stone Report this month that our prophetic summit is coming up. Uh, it's April 14th. That's Thursday night. I'll be speaking all the way through Sunday evening, Sunday night, uh, say 14th, 15th, 17th. I had to add that up. And there's going to be 10 services. And the highlights, of course, are the question and answer time, but also what we call the inside information. I have someone, can't tell you who it is, who's coming to the meeting, who's going to unload on me some things that I'll share with you. Now, inside information is closed doors. No one can bring an iPad. No one can bring a phone. In fact, we know if you have a phone on, we have a system, computer system that can scan the entire building. And so that's going to be a highlight. That's on Saturday. But don't miss the International Prophetic Summit with Mark Biltz, Jonathan Codd, myself, and Bill Cloud. We want to just mention to you, if you don't have uh, living in apocalyptic times, the president and the Persian prophecies, how to pray and release angels during prophetic seasons, has the tribulation already begun, recent alignments, the fulfilling time prophecies, the Passover shinny and uh, its prophetic purpose, Prophecy 101, four blunders made by prophetic teachers, six uh, audio CDs. This has been one of the most requested albums in the history of the ministry. If you didn't get it, Get it at the Prophetic Summit when you come by the table, or you can order it at perrystone.org, of course. Chronicles of the Sacred Mountain, once again, uh, one of our most requested books. Uh, you know, this has some great questions answered. If I have a miscarriage, will I see my child in heaven? Do loved ones in heaven know what's happening on the earth? This is a real good question. At death, when the spirit leaves the body of that righteous person, does it hover for three days? The Jews teach, uh, in Jesus' day they taught this, that it watches the family, it sees the grieving, it actually floats around. And then on the fourth day it goes to where it's going to be eternally uh, confined or if it's heaven or hell, not confined in, in heaven, but waits, await the resurrection. We answered that. What will we look like in he heaven? How old will we be in heaven? Why, how can we judge the angels? How is it possible for the saints to judge the angels unless we know what the angels did and how will God record that and oh, how we know it. This is the book that unlocks heavenly mysteries, okay? And also we have a whole section on Satan being uh, assisting the original building of the New Jerusalem. I am not going to get into that because that will take too long. The new material, and I want to say something about this, is Prophecies Concealed Now Revealed. Now this cover looks similar to another cover of a book we did a year ago or two. This is a totally different book, all brand new. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, I'll tell you exactly, we're about at 193 pages. And there are some things in here that we deal with. It's not just a book on the pre-tribulation rapture and showing the divine order of God that you cannot refute. But we talk about the 70 missing years of, of Noah. God said, in the day you eat the fruit, you will die. One day is a thousand years. Why did, Noah, uh, why did Adam die at 930 and why, why is there 70 years missing when he should have fulfilled that whole lifetime and died at the end of a thousand years? Interesting, okay? We also have a whole section on new signs, new parallel signs of the days of Lot and the days of Noah. We also uh, get into a whole study here that deals with what is going to actually release judgment. What are the triggers that bring judgment on a nation like America? And are we near those and how we know, how we actually know it is about to happen? And we have a section on who will escape what's coming in the future. Here's one that's really interesting. I haven't said much about this on TV. The King Saul pattern of the United States. I found a pattern of King Saul that we have gone through for the past eight years. And uh, it's just, it's real interesting. It talks about America's leaders in the past and future, things of that nature. Anyway, please get the book, um, America Wake Up. These are two messages that I preached at the Awaken America conference. We went ahead and put them in this album, The Washington Harbingers and uh, How America is Losing Its Blessing and Its Birthright. My partners that were there said that these were the two, uh, how they say it, most significant, timely, prophetic messages that they've heard me preach, and, and some of them have been with me for 35 years, in 35 years. This is this month's offer. Now, let me share a couple of things with you that's very, very, very significant and important that I want you to hear. Partners of the ministry, please plan on the Summer Prophecy 
a conference homecoming. It's right here at OCI. We have a wonderful time. We have over 800 new partners that we did not have last year that we're hoping will be able to come to this meeting. You book your hotel rooms by yourself. You don't have to register. The reason we don't register for some of the conferences is our older people, 60 and 70, that come don't always have laptops or computers, and so they can't register. And they're trying to call us and register, so it creates a little situation there, so we don't have registration. We really don't know how many are coming except just by the hotel rooms uh, that are booked. So go to paristone.org, book your hotel room early for the partner homecoming and we have just a fabulous group if I'm not mistaken I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to go from memory here Charlie's gonna have to help me I believe we've got Walter Hallam Rick Shelton and Randy Caldwell coming I, Charlie's nodding isn't that good I still have a memory Charlie <laughs> and I'm gonna be preaching at this one as well and so uh, look look you got to come and see the property you've got to come and see the farm you got to come and hang out at Pam's kitchen you got to come and get some of Pam's cooking uh, she's doing real well and uh, finishing homeschooling now in the next couple of weeks, which she's going to be very excited about. Also, congratulations to Jonathan, our son, who will be married at the end of the month. Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, it's actually on Passover, right, Charlie? I think it's actually the Saturday of the Jewish Passover. He didn't plan it that way. It worked out that way, but that's very significant for several reasons. And so him and Katie will be married, the Lord willing, and we want you to send your congratulations to him. He told me the other day, <laughs> and I'm saying this in humor. I'm not asking anybody to do this, but I'm saying this in humor. He said, hey, Dad, uh, are you going to tell the partners I'm getting married? I said, sure, I think most of them know it by now. He said, yeah, they can send a, they can send a check or cash. Uh, what really happened, his, his uh, fiance had blood clot, a blood clot from her hip all the way down to her foot. She was in the hospital for a couple weeks. So it's hard going into a marriage when you got medical bills up front. So he was, he was teasing on that. But we love Jonathan. He's doing great. He's working in the ministry now. He is a fabulous young man. He's, just, he's, a, he's a worker like his dad. I never saw that in him, but everybody here, Charlie's behind the camera, can tell you. He's learning things. He's learning how to do things. And we are proud, proud, super proud of our son Jonathan. Now, another thing, and don't, don't forget this, is in the summer in Mommy, Ohio, we're going to have a Release the Royal Youth Conference for young people. So plan on that. That's northern Ohio near Michigan. Michigan. And then we're going to come back in the, in the month of July at OCI for our big summer reformation. Now, it's important. I know you got a lot of stuff going on in the summer, but if you got kids, you need to send them to OCI because we're going to deal with suicide, cutting, depression, oppression. We're going to deal with kids that are just having difficulties, and we need your prayers. Listen, we're, let me tell you something, partners. We are engaged in a different level of warfare because of reaching this generation, and the enemy doesn't just sit back and let us just do this, just like, ah, oh, this is great. And we're in a different level of battle right now, so we need more prayer. We got people praying constantly. We got some of our young people praying five to eight hours a day. You say, well, you don't have to pray that long. Yes, you do. Sometimes you got to break the strongholds, break into the uh, powers of the enemy, and tear them down. Jesus got up at three o'clock in the morning at the beginning of the fourth watch and prayed till sunrise. So uh, you, when you deal with uh, intense warfare, it takes intense prayer. So we appreciate that so much. Now, the other thing I want to share with you is... Uh, a study Bible, they're, they're correcting the final proofing of the New Testament. A New, a New Testament's going to be printed first. They're going to start laying it out in the month of... Uh Actually, they're laying it out now, getting ready to. Month of July, we're going to take it to a printer. Hopefully, by December, we'll have them. We're not doing any pre-orders of these, but I am printing 5,000 genuine leather cover copies, which is a big upgrade. Uh, the cover itself is $10 more a Bible, just the cover, for partners only. So partners, if you're a partner of the ministry, you might want to get that addition. Now, it's going to be, uh, we haven't set a price on it yet, but I'm telling you, it's, you can't even imagine seven years what it costs to put this, just a Bible together. And so we're going to print 50,000 copies up front plus 5,000 partners editions, which will be for partners only. And so just set aside what you need to get one because it is loaded, loaded, loaded with fresh insight and information. So just for now, that's about all I want to share with you. If you can come on Tuesday nights at OCI, everybody is invited of any age to our Tuesday night service. We'd love to have you join us or visit us from time to time. To, uh, Thursday nights, lock into the prayer barn or log on to the to a prayer barn, prayer ministry where we're praying for people. And again, uh, pray for us. Uh, some, I know what people are going to say. What is on Perry's face? Perry's face, y'all can see that. It's very ugly right now. They cut something off my face to do a test for cancer cells. Now, don't, don't everybody say, oh, Perry's got cancer. Oh, God, I heard him say it. No, 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 I don't have that. I've got a, I had a bump here and a bump there they were concerned about, so they shaved it and did a test, and he said he didn't think there was anything to it. But, man, he sure left me with an ugly eye. When they, when they took that, they inject that to deaden it, you know, right there, I have never felt more pain in my life. I screamed. I've never screamed at anything. Well, I screamed at people before, but I've never screamed for pain. 
And man, I felt it. But anyway, we're doing good. Uh, we went for our annual physical. There were some concerns, but nothing major. I just have to readjust my lifestyle and make some changes with the help of God. Please, Lord, help me, you know, to have the, the motivation to do this. We're going to have to do that for the future. But uh, thank you for your prayers and your support. We need your continual support. Don't, don't back up of your support if we've ever needed it. Uh, we need it now because, you know, at these conferences, we let people come at no charge, and we're, we're paying all the expense of, of, uh, of everything coming in, and uh, it, it, it adds up. That's just, that's just what I feel like the Lord would have us to do, though. All right, God bless you. Till next time, hope to see you soon.